Calbunga YouTubers and welcome to the next video on Sterling Steel's YouTube channel, Sterling on Cinemas. That's Cinemas with an S. I'm Michelangelo and today I'll be giving you my review on our first live action adaptation of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Before we begin, if you are new to his channel, don't you forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment on the section below, and most importantly, watch. And the same thing goes for if you're watching this on the IG. And don't forget to like, share, Sub subscribe. You you know the rest. You know the rest. All right, Michelangelo is gonna get to the review. Let's break it down. Okay, so if you're a diehard fan of the Ninja Turtles, including me, Michelangelo, you pretty much know our story and our origin in our world and how awesome we are. So the 1990s New Year, the 1990s Jim Henson take on us is pretty similar. So the synopsis goes as follow: Follow me, bros. In New York, a mysterious radioactive ooze has mutated four sewer turtles into talking, upright, walking, crime-fighting ninjas. The intrepid heroes, Donatello, my brothers, Donatello, Raphael, and Leonardo, and me, Michelangelo, are trained in the ninjutsu arts by our rat sensei, Splinter. When a villainous rogue ninja named Shredder, who was a former pupil of the Splinter, arrives and spreads lawlessness throughout the city, it's up to us plucky turtles to stop him. Ninja style. Now, excuse me for a second. Mm. I haven't eaten all day. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Just like the doctor ordered. <clears throat> excuse me, bros. Mm. So, uh, if I had a slice of pizza for every time I could say this, this is my take on the story. But if I had a slice from Marco's Pizza from every time I said this, I'd be full, dude. The live action animatronics adaptation of us, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, felt more nostalgic and fun than awesome or epic. The story sticks, the story manages to stick strongly to the tone and atmosphere of our classic 80s animated series. You know, the song that goes, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Half Shell, Turtle Power. So anyway, <clears throat> it sticks to the animated series with its set pieces, character designs, they did top notch on those, and our humor and the action. It perfectly plays well with the world of the Ninja Turtles, us, but I will say a lot of things about the story that felt dull compared to how we face it in real times. The story contained a lot of aspects that made the story feel accurate to the source material, but it was not very sophisticated. For example, every moment in our movie is where it is supposed to be, and they are all planned accordingly. However, just the way that some parts present themselves feels mediocre, such as the fight scenes we see with us in the Foot Clan ninjas in April's house. I mean, sure, that was fun, but it, it felt very corny and goofy. Now, if you've seen our 80s show, we are not corny and goofy. We may appear corny and goofy, but we're awesome. We are awesome. They kept us in the sewer for nothing. Now time to move on to the best part, the characters. For a movie that presents itself in a dull way when it comes to trying to portray us Ninja Turtles, the characters are one of the things they get absolutely right. First of all, the character designs of me and my brothers are just top notch with a comic accurate appearance minus uh, initials on the belt. I don't have my initials on the belt, by the way. The pr only problem is three of the turn, three of us, three out of the four of us have their correct personality with Donatello being an exception. Leonardo was considered the leader in this movie. We know, you, you, I mean, you've led the lyrics, Leonardo leads and he leads with everything he's got. But he's considered the leader, but he goes along with the rest of his brothers. You know that scene where I started dancing and then meditating and he started meditating and he started dancing. Raphael is as rebellious as you would expect him to be, of course. And of course me, Michelangelo, is always the first to bring the perfect quips in the perfect pizza crust. Splendor is portrayed with the right level of wisdom, but is more laid back than awesome in this. You know how awesome he is. If you've seen the 80s, if you've seen the 80s series that we're in, the casting of the beautiful woman playing April O'Neil was great casting. Also, with looking more like the original version with red curly hair and a yellow jacket. And of course, the pretty newswoman. <clears throat> this version of Casey Jones also may 
be comic accurate as well, sporting long hair and a hockey mask and a hockey stick. But he he was not all that sophisticated either. He thinks he's all that with April. The foot soldiers were also fun to watch, but they were just as goofy as us. They're supposed to be cooler than us. They're supposed to be intimidating. They were intimidating at all. There's not, their eyes look like flies. On the other hand, Shredder is not as compelling and cool in this adaptation like he would be in general in the animated series or every other material starring us, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Rotten Tomatoes gives our first live action adaptation a 40% score. I respect that. We don't completely suck, but I respect that. Despite having a sloppy, sloppy story quality, Jim Henson's take on us. The Jim Henson is the people is the person who brought you the Muppets, the Jim Henson company that made those animatronics. Their first take on us is very reminiscing and nostalgic in every way with the characters, the tone, world, and the atmosphere. And hopefully we'll get better. And hopefully the reviews that my brothers will give later on, which I'll talk about that uh, in, a little, in a short second. But by the way, I will give this movie six SOs out of 10. Because while it wasn't necessarily a bad or boring movie, it was a great take on us. It just felt it felt weak compared to the flavor that that the series has that we that we possess. But anyway, that is the end of this review. That was your boy. It's your boy Michelangelo. I hope you enjoy your boy Michelangelo bringing you the review on our first live action take on our first live action appearance on the big screen, dude. And next week, next Wednesday, you will see my brother Donatello. Donatello, the genius in the purple, who is technically a genius, bringing you the review on the second Jim Henson's Turtles. And then the week after that, you'll see the leader, Leonardo, bringing his take. And then Raphael will be bringing in the reboot. Reboot. Review. The review on the reboot from 2014. So that is the end of this review. You can let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Was it a first impression for you or did it kind of fail for you or not fall short for you? So I'll see you guys next week. My brother will see you next week for my next video. And I'm sure Sterling still will want you guys to have a great week. Cowabunga!